Oh my goodness, welcome back, Internet people. Today we are playing Omicron, the Nomad Soul for the PC. And there is a place we are going the temple. We are going to a temple, apparently. The temple is here? I don't see a temple here. I see... oh. That must be that thing right there. Okay. Ah, I see. Entrance that way, I remember. Oh my god, the music in this place is fucking awesome too. I almost don't want to go in here because it's going to skip it. Oh well. <laughs> oh yes. The metal face and build like a brute. Powerful fighter. You are the one that I'm going to reincarnate into as soon as possible. Oh, no. Don't think I was supposed to leave. So... With whom do I speak? Also, what the hell is that thing? It's a rock. Hello. Are you... Yob? Follow me. Okay. I can get up on these happenings. Okay. I need to present the sign of the awakened. There? How do I get up? Not that button. This button. Oh! Look at that! I am a player of video games. Where have I happened upon now? Guess I'll go forward. It's locked. The sign on the door says Genesis Cell. Welcome to the Awakened. As you can see, it's no palace, but the air here is better than up top. I'll have to take your word for it because, you know, kind of, you know, in my own little universe right now. I know you, don't I? You're Jenna712. You were accused of being a member of the Awakened. You're also one who set up this secret meeting. Yes, it was me. The first time I saw you in Security HQ, I could feel right away that your soul was from elsewhere. Okay. I thought you might be able to confront Gandar. I followed your investigations and gave you the information you needed to find him. I don't think you did. It seemed like none of that was placed by you. But it's a good thing I declared you innocent. It sure is. Otherwise, I would have been condemned to thought erasion. Accept this little gift as a token of my gratitude. Thank you. By the way, how'd you recognize me? I'm not in Kale's body anymore. The envelope changes, but the content remains the same. That's very cryptic. I don't understand. Follow me. I'll lead you to the one who wants to see you. Ooh. The man who wants to see you is behind this door. When your meeting is over, come and see me in my room. See you then. Okay, Jenna. Ooh. The religion of the Green Book teaches that men are no more than dreams in the sleep of the Supreme Being. Okay. My name is Dakaba. I'm a Yeshu priest. I had you brought here because we have a common enemy. 
Astaroth. Tell me about Astaroth. Astaroth. He's the master of the Infernal Legions. He sends his demons into the city in search of souls. He derives his power from their suffering. What do you know about the demons? They spread through the population by taking on human form. If no one stops them, they will soon be masters of Omicron. Who knows of the existence of the demons? The inhabitants of Omicron are ignorant of the existence of the demons. They never show themselves in broad daylight. Even the government denies their existence. We, the Awakened, are the only ones who can fight them. Why are the Awakened the only ones who can combat the demons? We are the only ones who know they're among us. The others prefer to deny their existence. By the time they open their eyes, it'll be too late. The demons are formidable adversaries. Our waver weapons have no effect on them. And what would happen if a demon succeeded in stealing my soul? He would lock it up in a small cage called a Kishmar and bring it to his master, Astaroth. It would be cast into the Reservoir of Souls, where it would suffer a thousand tortures. You would be condemned for all eternity. Deprived of its soul, your true body would become a mere shell. Or, worse, the home of a demon. But if my soul changes bodies when I die, then I must be immortal? In a sense. When you die, you take the body of someone else. But you lose all the skills you had acquired. Strength, mana, powers. But you risk far more than that by staying in Omicron. You risk infernal damnation. That's horrible! How can I save my soul from damnation? I don't know whether you can still escape your destiny. If a means of saving your soul exists, only Boz, the master of the Awakened, knows it. Who is Boz? Boz is the virtual being. The Rider. He lives on the Multiplan Network. He's the Supreme Master of the Awakened. His knowledge is immense. Where can I meet Boz? You can't meet Boz just like that. It's very rare and difficult to see him. It requires considerable energy for him to leave the network. He has to use the binary data tides to carry him to the surface and become visible. Not many are allowed to speak to him in the few minutes at his disposal. I must speak to Boz. Oh, I doubt if that's possible. Only the Awakened can speak to him. Let me be awakened. If I don't save my soul, I'll be damned for all eternity. I should be able to speak to Boz at the next binary equinox. I'll ask him if he wants to receive you. In the meantime, you can join Phalanx 5, one of the secret units of the Awakened. Very well. By the way, how will you recognize me if I change bodies? Don't worry about that. All the Awakened can read souls. We'll recognize yours, whatever body you occupy. Now, go. Why couldn't Jenna just say that rather than giving me a riddle about envelopes? <laughs> okay then. To Jenna's room! I know where that is because I happened upon the door. Let me in! Let me in! Hola! Hola, Jenna! I have spoken with Dakoba. He offered to let me join the Awakened. I hope you prove yourself equal to the honor conferred on you. The life of an Awakened hangs by a thread. Tell me about the Awakened. We are a secret caste who fight the demons and the dictator Reshef's corrupt power system. We are the only ones aware of the existence of the demons and capable of confronting them. Tell me about this dimension. You are in the city of Omicron. Our planet has been in the Ice Age for nearly 2,000 years. In order to protect ourselves, our people built a crystal dome over the city. Who governs Omicron? On the top of the power pyramid is Ix, an extremely powerful computer that has ruled over all for more than 500 years. It gives orders to Legati Reshef and his government. Then, there are the Trusts, Kansu, and Tetra. Tell me about Ix. 
X is the computer that plans and organizes everything in Omicron. It uses statistical criteria to pass laws and make decisions about people's lives. Legaty Reshef is responsible for having the orders carried out. It was X who decided to censor dangerous ideas in order to maintain political stability. That's the state of affairs in Omicron today. Power is in the hands of a machine. And about Reshev? Legatee Reshev, an iron fist in a silk glove. He is a violent and bloodthirsty dictator and will stop at nothing in order to increase his wealth. He is cultivating a veritable personality cult. His image is all over the city. He smiles on the Transcan while his chief of police, Kriff Mashrud, leads a merciless campaign of repression. Oh gosh, well, uh, how about the trusts? The trusts own everything of value in Omicron. They make our clothes, our vehicles, everything, right down to our food. They even have their own armies. They're conducting a merciless war with each other in order to acquire economic supremacy. The weirdest thing of all is that no one knows who's at the head of the trusts. And how do the Awakened operate? Reshev leaves us no choice but violence. We use sabotage to destabilize the government and bring the people to their senses. That's enough. Let's go and see Namtar now. Oh, look at She's actually typing on that keyboard. Something that the people on New Vegas could figure out. Ooh, can I steal her things? I totally can! Let's steal Jenna's stuff! This is a wash basin. That is a wash basin, apparently. I'm not buying that. Is this a bed? A desk bed and shower. Uh, okay. So, what's this area back here? A door? Okay. Um. Alrighty. So. I'm going to see Namtar. Where is Namtar? I don't think you're Namtar. Well, well. So here's our new member. My compliments. Very few people can boast of having got into the Awakened so quickly. It seems the news travels fast. News of your exploits reached my ears. It seems you've killed a demon of the last circle. Beginner's luck, no doubt. And who exactly are you? My name is Krill. I'm a specialist in weapons and explosives. Namtar calls me in for commando operations when it's essential to have a real professional. <laughs> okay. And I look like a tourist, do I? We'll see what you're worth in the field. Others like you have ended up incinerated before they had time to draw their waiver. Thanks for the encouragement! I distrust heroes. In the Awakened we seek simplicity and effectiveness, not flashy actions. We're warriors willing to give our lives for the cause. We're not movie stars. I'll try to remember. See you later. Okay, so I found a jerkwad. I wonder if he has any stuff to steal. Oh, apparently that wouldn't be very wise. Damn you, conscience. Damn you. Oh, another door. Oh, okay. I can do stuff to this one. I'm going to assume that I'm not meant to go through there just yet. Perhaps Namtar is up here? I think he might just be right there. We'll uh, speak to him next time, Internet people. Thanks for watching.